Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome back to some European Universalis for King Ching. We are finally the Ching. It is the 10th of October, 1574, and I am now waiting patiently until I can basically obliterate the Ming. Obliterate. Since recording the last episode, I have actually been to Stockholm for Paradox Con. I got a chance to play out Third Rome, which is the newest expansion. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel. I'm putting out some videos when the embargoes lift with regards to interviews and uh, news and kind of like content and stuff like that. But I had a huge amount of time. I also am doing a vlog channel called SO Travel. Link will be in the description where you can check out the vlogs that I'll be putting up with me and my girlfriend Olivia while we were in Stockholm. So, with that, first of that out of the way, also look at my cool bracelet. Press cool, cool stuff like that. So it was a really great time. Paradox Street does so well. Really, really great time. Uh, and you're going to really like Third Rome, guys. We'll talk about more in a little bit or in a few days or weeks. So um, I accidentally did something when I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And what that was, I just started um, supporting Rebels. I started supporting uh, supporting Jin Rebels. And that was basically just to create some kind of dist uh, problem or just some kind of rebellion for the, uh, the Mingalese. But we're going to see, you know, if that actually works. Uh... We'll, we'll see. I have to wait a few years before I can get my next tech. Um, I yeah, repay my loans. Please! What is this? Conquer Naju. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? So, unfortunately, I can't declare war on Korea separately because then Ming will join, and that will be very unfortunate. Um, hmm. One thing I can do is I could actually declare war on the Koreans, and... Um, yeah, declare war on the Koreans, and what I do is I call in Ming separately and take Neju. That could work, and also it would mean I would get a crap ton of war score, especially if I make the conk the goal to be Neju. That's a good idea. I like this plan. Uh, I'm still building spy network. I'll get another claim on over there, and then we'll just have a small portion of the army ready to obliterate the Koreans, siege it all down, and then just continue on with Ming. I think that'll be all right. It'll be fine. Um. Ooh! Show it, Anne! Oh! Mm. Mm. Sorry, just this very dirty, but uh, full of land with basically 15% morale for 10 freaking years for free. That is incredible. Oh my god. Thank you so much. So basically, as soon as it is possible, I am going to invi uh, declare war on the Ming to make the most of that. Uh, and that will be done in, in three years' time. Holy shit, that's awesome. Uh, we are not over our force limit. Ming is only tech 11, but I would like to at least try and equal match them. Wait, these aren't mercenaries, are they? No, they're not mercenaries. I'm not recruiting any more troops, am I? Uh, no, so that's good. Let's send some of our cavalry. One, two, four cavalry. And one artillery. And they will go over there with those other troops I just recruited, and they will beat the Koreans. And as soon as the Koreans are beaten, we will head on down. It's inflation, though. I will reduce my inflation just a little bit, just to try and survive a bit. Uh, obviously, the thing is, whenever I don't pay, inflation increases. But the thing is, basically, I'm just losing most of my money through interest. But I'm still okay. I am only bankrupt when... Yeah, I'm only bankrupt when everything's bad. But the thing is, one thing I could do is if I just keep getting loans, I could actually force myself into bankruptcy after I get a very long uh, peace deal with... Um... Yeah, this is actually doable. If I got a really long peace deal, because let me show you guys how it works. So I know Flory's done a little bit of this. I actually met Flory Warrior at a PDX con, which is awesome. So to give you a little bit about what actually happens with ban bankruptcy. So once you declare it, you wipe all your loans and you declared it. Um, for five years, you get interest per annum, a morale armies reduction, um, manpower coverage reduction, advisor costs. Basically, everything sucks for a really, really long time. Uh, tech cost, idea cost, basically everything. But the thing is, it all, also you get 10% devastation to all provinces. Uh, oh, and it reduces all monarch power to minus 100. Reduces legitimacy to zero. Reduces zero... Uh, yeah, stability by 3 and prestige by 100. So, if if I have so many, though, it could actually work, because I would basically reset my economy. I could basically just peace out with Ming. Everything would suck for a bit. But I think we can do it. I think we could do this. Yeah. 
Okay, I think we can do this. We'll have to wait a few years, though. We'll need to do one more war, because I don't have a peace treaty with Ming, so they would probably declare war on me. We definitely want to force a treaty uh, to fire. 100% want to force a treaty. But being able to kind of reset all those loans would be great. Declare bankruptcy and just wipe everything. Do our, do my buildings get destroyed? All mercenaries, all, all mercenaries are an advisor to dismiss and all buildings in use under construction are cancelled. Okay. Also, any core or cultural conversion pro in process is also cancelled. And bankruptcy adds 10% devastation to all provinces. Okay. So that would be very unpleasant, though. Basically be in massive debt for a while. Ah, shit. Ain't distrust and treason. I don't care about that. I think that's actually a, probably the best thing for me to do, to be honest. It's the mandate, though. What do I do about the mandate? Oh. Uh, I gotta get this mandate out of the way. Kazakh Civil War. Cool. Hey, what? I was. What are you doing, guys? I sent you over here. Stop being an asshole. Uh, disloyal officials, purge them and get taxed, but t what the fuck? Oh, I'm already gonna be on, like, zero mandate, so it's not really like I have a choice. So, whatever. Um, could I get another general? Yes, if their influence was high enough. I cannot call a diet, however, until 77. When I call a diet, they will gain 10, so I need to give them quite a bit of influence. Their influence is actually pretty low for a period of time. I don't really want to do that then. I'm just going to have to trust in generals. I think I'll make another general run. Okay, that's actually a 4-2. That's actually okay general-wise. Um, I'm just going to wait until 78. Ooh, they've embraced the Renaissance. Have I embraced the Renaissance? Oh, I've already embraced the Renaissance as well, so that's why they've embraced it. Uh, so we'll build, we'll build the troops necessary as well. I think that'll be a good shout. And we'll get three more uh, infantry and then we'll just obliterate them. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. And my hope is that they don't declare war on me, but... No! What? Shit. More rebels. How did that even fire? I didn't even see them firing. Damn it. Damn it. Really, you could not do not need that right now. Military is from Korea. Why? Oh, that's a weird reminder. Go away. Why do they need military access? That's odd. Ah, uh, these guys majoritively infantry. No, they're not. That's good. Uh, why are my military leaders leaving me? Can you? F ah! Stop it! Let's reinforce. It's definitely gonna hurt my manpower a little bit. Oh, shit. No, go away. Stop adding years of separatism. Stop it. Yes, I know I'm renewing loans. I don't care. We'll raise a couple more infantry there as well. What? All my generals just died. I, all the generals I just recruited died in accidents in camp. Are you for real right now? That is bullshit. Oh my god. That is not fair. Damn it. Alright, let's... Let's give this a go. Oh shit. No, 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 no. What are you doing? No, stop it. Stop it! Don't attack me in different directions! You stupid bastard. Okay, we're fine. Ah, right, there we go. Bloody rebels! Bloody rebels. I hate them so much. Alright. 
We'll leave behind some cavalry to get rid of the siege, to get rid of those annoying rebel sieges. Oh, I made it all the way down again. Reduce inflation again. I think I need to start chucking some admin points and making these provinces a bit better because I am desperate for the cash right now. Oh wait, no, I was chucking places, uh, points into places to try and spawn colonialism, wasn't I? Bit by bit, we'll get it. Are you going to help us out? Sergio? No, they're not. They're just going to just walk in through my territory like assholes. Are you fighting. I mean, these guys are also in my tributary state, so I don't really care. It's unfortunate my... Ah... They're at war with Dali. They still will join there. It's annoying. That's where where the Jin separatists go. Ah! Stop it! This mandate's going to be a, a definite problem. I'm trying to maintain this. Oh boy. We want to make sure we overpower the Koreans quickly. Take as much territory as possible here as well and, and try to obliterate these guys. Oh, also I can stake quite a lot of stuff. So let's, um... Damn. I can state Uliasti and Turpan Kunmul. Sure. Let's just go through that. Nice. Inner Mongolia is another one, I guess. Might as well try that. Alright, Lakor should help improve some of my income, which is good. Slightly. God, I wish Ming would do their job. Or well, not do that, but just Ming would piss off and die already. Okay, the war is going to begin soon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. What is my rebel risk right now? Basically nothing. Cool. Uh, so bankruptcy happens when you go... Yeah, if your combined monthly interest of loads exceeds the monthly income, the country will be forced to declare bankruptcy. Currently... My income is 31 and my interest, so I can actually take a lot of loans. I can take 32, 33 more loans, and I only have 14. So it's actually plenty. So I'm going to take another loan. It helps out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, using those, I'm going to build some more mercenaries. Because this shit is about to start, my friends. Here we go, boys and girls. Ming opinion increased. Oh, goody. Oh, the Shazu decline, desire provinces. Well, isn't that a fucking shame? Fine, you can have this. There you go. Enjoy. Um, there we go. I get some... That should help. It helps a little bit, you know. Uh, let's do this. I might just try and take... I mean, obviously I want to take all this because they're really, really good provinces. But I also think I should actually just try to tributize them. Uh, I can't. I actually can't. I have to annex them first. Uh, extend loan, lol. Sorry. Alright, here we go. It is on, my friends. It is on. So we want the small cast cannon, giving that extra shock defensive modifier. We're gonna army maintenance the fuck out of this. Uh... It's going to take a few, about six months to replenish. I am pretty scared right now, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Ming is still in debt, but not that much. 
Hate you, Ming. A grand burial. Powerful ministers die due to old age. Death is eminence as a vacuum. I can gain five mandate, though, so that's cool. Oh, man. It's bullshit that I have this massive power that I can't do anything about. Well, I have to take that one because I don't have 200 ducats to lose, so... You know. Too bad for me, I suppose. Christ. Alright, let's give him the general. Here we go. Better, better now than later, my friends. Let's do it. We're going to take Nanju. Nanju. We're going to call in the Ming. Or I could declare war just on Ming. And I could take it as any of these goals. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter. It's all kind of the same. I want I want the war goal to be Nanju. So... How oh, do I get my spine number? No, I can't. So I want the war to definitely be Nanju. So... Let's do it. Uh, so let's make sure we are... We don't need that spy anymore. Oh man, is there a river here? Son of a bitch. Didn't realize that. Where's the rivers? Shengzhou and Shunu. Okay, so let's go here instead. Oh man, here we go. We do not want... We want... No, we do not want these forts on. But Beijing and Datong we do want on, obviously. Okay, Ming is now in the war. Oh my god. We're gonna fight a war of very fast attrition. And by that I mean I'm gonna send one dude here and stand here like a little bitch and run away if anything happens. We'll just start sieging stuff straight away though. We should be able to obliterate these guys very fast, and then once everyone comes back, we'll pull over. I hate the mandate, though. It's bullshit. So if I wanted to make Ming my tributary, could I actually do that? So I actually could. I could actually make them my tributary. That would be very interesting. Um, but it's not going to happen, of course. Oh, we actually stack wipe them. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay. Okay. How many troops is needed here? Uh, only 3,000 troops are needed. So that's fine. So we'll leave these guys behind. Good stuff. And these guys to get the sieges. And everyone else is going to return home. And we're going to play this super goddamn carefully. Oh my god, so carefully. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Totally did not just uh, cut it together because of uh, my door was being knocked on. And it, it's going to be interesting indeed. Losing a base tax or loyalty. No. No! You can't have loyalty. Fuck off. Get out of here! Yeah, I know they refuse to tribute. I'm well aware that they're basically bastards. There's nothing I can do about it, so... Oh god. Um, there is desert over there that we could try and contain. I think I actually do want to try and do that. Let's give that a go. I'm going to try and do that. We're getting the sieges, which is good, but I have concerns. Treason. I know, I have no bloody imperial mandate or whatever. I'm aware of this. But there's nothing I can do about it, so... Ah! Is all I can say. Oh man, I am worried. I am a little worried. Let's head on over. I'm basically frantically doing this. We're going to get some sieges. We're going to drive out their war exhaustion a little bit. So that's good. Look at that. There's the war goal. So we have the war goal now. 
And there they are. Fuck! Every time! I swear to God! No! How did they know they could catch me there? That exact freaking moment. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit they could just catch me like that. Catch me outside, how about that? Ninth. They fucking caught me outside, alright. Fuck! If I put a general on them, they'd have lived! Ah! Son of a bitch. Surprising, we have very high morale, though, so that's in our favor. Oh, man. Get ready to run the fuck away, guys. All right, here they come, here they come, here they come. Uh, well, we don't have enough troops to defend, so everybody retreat to freaking Beijing. Don't know where my army went. Oh my Christ. Not like this. Okay, we're safe for another day, at least. Okay, we're gonna need more mercs. Just a whole bunch of mercs. Oh my god. This is stressful. Okay. Um, the only possibility is the fact that we have a lot of, um, a lot of morale. No! Wait, what? Ah! They're going into the sea! Okay. There's no rivers there. Um, could we beat them here? We have more morale than them. We're gonna have an army. How many artillery do they have? 13,000. Wow, okay. That seems unreasonable. Damn it! Ah, oh, they, they stopped moving to the base, I see. Fuck. Nothing I can do about that now. Okay, uh, why have I not raised war taxes? That's a very good question to myself. Well, there's the army, so... Where are they going? Where are they going? What are they doing? Ah, they're moving to the south. For some reason. Really don't know why. I have a lot of infantry now, actually. I think I managed to transition my army to be pretty infantry focused very quite well. Right, we're not going to catch them there, that's for sure. But we've managed to drag up that war exhaustion a little bit. They're probably like bull rushing over there, aren't they? I mean, let's, let's just start sieging stuff then. Okay, I found them. Uh, 4th of June, 1st of June. Fuck sieges, get over here. What is this? What are those? 70k? Oh my god. Have you ever known such regrets? I haven't. Fuck. They coming. They coming. No, they caught me. 7th, 9th, 12th. 
11th. How many are in the 12th slot? Uh, you know what? I think it's worth fighting this. I'm gonna fight this. Let's fucking do it. I believe in you guys. Uh, we're gonna wanna keep that shock, General. Let's fucking do this. There's no rivers, but... I'm going ham. I'm going full Bundeswehr Bob, guys. Let's do this. They're gonna be 17th of July, so maybe we can maybe we can break them around. We have shock damage. Yeah. Oh no 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 not yeah we're getting fucked. We're getting obliterated. Oh my god! But the thing is, is that we're continuously getting morale reinforcements. Okay, that's really really bad. Um, somehow even though we have more shock more cavalry than them, ah oh, they have better tactics. Why not they better tactics? Tradition's better. Yeah, we lose like four times as many men as them. Okay, so retreats. Retreats. Okay. Um, so we lost about 10,000 more than them. Uh, we are going to have the war goal, however. So that's definitely something. We'll do continue in this next episode. Make sure you check out the other series I have on my channel. Please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about my impending doom and suffering. I was Alger Hill, I'll continue to be. Do check out everything that I have. Please tell me I'm just going to be okay. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.